No. That's me if I gave a fuck, but girl. Wait. It's called hormone replacement therapy, and um, it's almost guaranteed to make you sexy. Transsexual. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. Thank you. I don't know that song that's like Mount Everest ain't got shit on me. Cause I'm on top of the world. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. Yeah. But from crystal Fuck your son Bang bing Bang bing Come round for your liquor song sing Song sing Bro said he can't trust these girls no more Cause she just wanna see the long thing Woo. Show that for your fling Larry. Dang ding yeah. If you feel drunk ping pong pong ping Bang ping Me and a brown man Are you Five foot two Absolutely not Five foot four Five foot three Five foot three Kevin Five foot two and a half. I'm five foot two. Five foot two. Let's try to tell the truth. Yeah, five foot two. Today, a student of mine tried to punch me in the nuts. Uh, he didn't succeed, not because I stopped him, but because I don't have any. And, you know, I just kind of had to improv my way through it. Like, yes, you punched me in the nuts. And, oof, how that hurt. I would say it's like the only time I've ever been actively glad I didn't have a penis. Usually I'm kind of lukewarm, like, hmm. Did you say your transgender friend Noah's getting married? Grandma, you shouldn't call a transgender person transgendered. Why not? It's because transgender is an adjective, not a verb. That's one reason, Grandpa, but also because saying transgendered makes it sound like something has been done to that transgender person. As if it's a problem and they weren't the same person all along. I thought that using the word transgendered meant that there had been surgery done somewhere along the way. Nope, being transgender is not a choice and it's a unique experience for each individual. Thank you for correcting me. Now I understand. Hi, um, so technically I don't have, whoops. So technically, I don't have to take it for the rest of my life. Uh, but if I do want normal levels of testosterone, then I have to take it for the rest of my life. Uh, but I know a lot of trans guys who stops their treatment uh, when they've reached a certain amount of changes. Because a lot of things are actually... Svenska. <laughs> because a lot of things stays the same, even if you stop taking testosterone. That's what I was going to say. But for me personally, I will take it for the rest of my life because that's what I want. So I hope I answered your question. This was a weird video and I'm sorry. 
Hi, Dylan here, and this is my voice seven months on testosterone. I have some hair and fuzz growing on my chin, my cheeks. I'm growing a little bit of a neck beard. <laughs> um, definitely more hair on like my my inner thighs and my forearms. No butt hair yet. That's something I saw a lot of trans mask people talk about is ass hair and I haven't really grown a whole lot of ass hair yet um my voice is still cracking like a shit ton I don't know when it's gonna get past the puberty stage um horny as fuck and yeah that's about it I think and still growing a little bit of a mustache so we'll see what's to come. I'm beginning to think that maybe subconsciously I became trans. Now, hear me out. I know how that sounds, but just like stick with me. I became trans because of how much I hated men. No, don't get me wrong. I still hate them. With a fiery passion, I think they are a biological error, scum of the fucking- Sorry about that, um, yeah, I think I just watched them waddling around like fucking idiots and just thought to myself as a kid one day, you know what? I'm gonna show y'all motherfuckers how it's done. Ain't a guy so tough. I know, right? I mean, all that privilege must be such a burden. But like, society teaches us that- Society teaches you when you're five. You're 40 now. Go the fuck to therapy.